Remove the sensor patch from its pack. The sensor patch must be labeled red sense. Ensure that the sensor patch is not mechanically damaged and that the fiber is inside the patch. Fasten the alarm unit with a clip at a maximum distance of 25 cm from the needle puncture site. If the patient's sleeve is loose, you may use the optional velcro strap to attach the alarm unit. Do not tighten the velcro strip too hard due to possible compression of access vessels. Here is the alarm unit attached to the patient using the velcro strip. Connect the sensor patch cable to the alarm unit by pressing the connector into the socket until a click is heard. To start RedSense, press the ON button and confirm that all LEDs are lit and that the alarm signal is heard. Press the ON button once again and the green light starts to blink for a few seconds, the assessment phase, showing a battery status and making sure that the sensor patch is properly connected before becoming completely lit. If the patient is wearing a tighter fitting sleeve, the alarm unit can be fastened to the sleeve using the clip. Completely clean the area around the needle so that any fluid, blood, residual cleaning fluid, lotion, etc. is fully removed. The protective cover on the sensor patch can be removed prior to inserting the needles or after the needle has been inserted. Insert the needles as usual. Apply the sensor patch to the skin over the needle with the absorbent part of this patch centered over the puncture. Please note that shown here is the shortest recommended distance between the alarm unit and the puncture site. It is also possible to fasten the alarm unit onto the lower arm and turn it to face in the opposite direction. Make certain that the sticky part of the patch doesn't cover the wings. Fasten the needles in place in the normal way by using tape or something equivalent. If necessary, tape can be used to stick the sensor patch down. If necessary, tape can also be used to stick the sensor cable down. When the green light is completely lit, the alarm is operational, the monitoring is functioning in the correct way and the dialysis can begin. You should follow normal safety procedures such as making sure the patient doesn't interfere with the alarm unit. After the dialysis is complete, hold the button press down for one second in order to switch off the alarm. Disconnect the sensor patch from the alarm unit, remove the alarm unit from the patient. The alarm unit should be wiped off with appropriate disinfection using a slightly damp cloth after each use. If blood has come in contact with the alarm unit, it must be cleaned very carefully to avoid biohazards. The sensor patch is single use and must not be cleaned for reuse. Dispose of it with other clinical waste material. 
The battery must only be charged when the alarm unit is not in use and not attached to a patient. A fully charged battery lasts 15 to 20 hours, meaning that it's advisable to charge the battery every night after use. Connect the charger to the alarm unit using a cable. The charger must be labeled red sense. Note that the sensor should not be connected at the same time. Plug the charger into a socket outlet and the yellow light blinks while the charging is in progress. When the green light is illuminated, the battery is fully charged. This can take up to 4 hours. Attach the multi-charger to the wall using two screws with a screw head diameter of 5 to 8 mm suitable for the wall material. The use of a plastic plug might be necessary. Tighten the first screw onto the wall, leaving about 3 mm so the multi-charger can be hooked on it. Straighten it vertically and then tighten the second screw through the hole at the bottom right hand corner. Plug the charger into a socket outlet. When connecting the alarm unit to the multi-charger, use a circle of movement and push it in place. Ensure that the yellow LED is blinking. When the green light is illuminated, the battery is fully charged.